Brittany and Parker here from Ride or Dine. Hello, and today we're at SeaWorld San Antonio for Seven Seas. Yes, opening weekend of Seven Seas Food Festival. Yeah. One of our favorite fests. It is. We're here to focus on pretty much the new stuff for That's the right. year. This is a festival we do every year, but um, of course we have our old favorites. We want to see what's yeah, new. Yeah, we'll do those so. as well. But we're starting in Mexico, so let's Always. get started. All right, tell All us right. what we got. So new stuff this year, this is the pulled pork taco. Excellent. Chicken mole fries. Nice. Hot chocolate ice cream, hot Mexican hot chocolate ice cream. Mex yeah. Yes. <laughs> and then this is the prickly pear margarita and hibiscus paloma. And we brought guests to help us eat because a lot of food and drink today. <laughs> They're like designated food fest helpers. <laughs> <laughs> okay, mole fries. I like it. I like mole. Mole is um, like an acquired taste, so if you don't like it, it is. you won't like these, but yeah, it's, it's really true. good. And so what are we thinking? I think it's very good. Excellent. The paloma? Paloma's okay. It's, I like the hibiscus, right? Yeah, hibiscus paloma. Yeah. I like the pretty pear margarita a little more. It's sweeter. Yeah, same. Mm -hmm. And then let's try the pulled pork taco. Ooh, it's spicy. Oh. It's good. Oh, wow, it's really spicy, actually. You're going <laughs> to like it a lot. All right, Mexican hot chocolate ice cream. You can tell I'm excited, right? Yeah, you do love ice cream. Does it taste like Mexican hot chocolate? Yes. Ah. It hit me right at the end there. Nice. Yeah. And right over here, there's also a new stage, and yeah. the show is about to start. Perfect. So, we'll see a little bit of that. Yeah. as we go along to out of five for the new stuff for the new stuff specifically it wouldn't be fair you know to go with old stuff too so for mexico i'm giving it a four four out of five yes yeah for the, the pork uh, was spicy which is rare i loved it and the mole was mild which i loved it yeah. four to five as well four out of five four out of five we're all in agreement You're a four? i'm a four. Solid four let's move on <laughs> we're off to the next boot what's that France! <laughs> Alright, so this one's new. This is the Parmesan Mushroom Swiss Spinach. That's not new, but it's a favorite, so I had to get it. <laughs> the banana strawberry hazelnut. And then this is the crab and spinach with the Parmesan sauce on top, and I'm really excited for that one. You're going for crab and spinach first? I am. That's the one you said you're most excited for, so yes, I don't so. want to wait for it. Okay. Is it good? Whoa. Really good. Mm hmm. Mm. Every year we talk about it. We love these crepes. Yeah, the we crepes always are always in our top. Mm hmm. Hmm. Okay, I'll turn. It's good. It's good? Not great? That was an overreaction. <laughs> it's good. It tastes like um, spinach and artichoke dip inside oh, of the Oh, you know what? And I like crab, but I don't love crab. But I do love spinach artichoke dip. So that's the reason why I liked it so much, I bet. We gotta see what you guys think. He doesn't even really like crepes, right? Yeah, I remember last year he said that, right? Yeah. Yeah, that's a crepe. <laughs> <laughs> okay. What about the mushroom spinach? Mushrooms look good. Mm -hmm. You know, I think I like this one more. Well, there you go. I think it has the same sauce on top. But I like the Swiss cheese inside. The spinach is like actual, like, you know, fresh spinach. I like this one. Ratings, France. So based just on new stuff, of Bas course. Yeah. So I can't let my hazelnut, chocolate, banana, strawberry one influence me. I'm going to give it a three. Three. Two. Two. I think I'll give it a three. Three. I think three is, yeah, three is where I stand. And maybe it's a little bit because I've 
you know, they make them right in front of you. Yeah. What's next? What is next? We can do Germany or Italy. Let's go Germany. Germany. So what is our plan for this booth? We're definitely going to get the beer cheese pepsol with beef. Ooh, that sounds like it's for me. Yeah, it's going to be good. <laughs> We've gotten the beer cheese basil before with onions, but I guess the beef parts do. And I'll then, take it. Uh, they have two cocktails with Jägermeister. We're going to decide about that one. <laughs> I think a decision has been made. <laughs> uh, they also have a blueberry cake ice cream. Ooh. Oh, that one sounds great. We'll get that. We'll get that. Cool. Beer cheese basil with beef. Raised beef? Yeah, the beef. Okay. That's the beef. This is the best thing we've had so far. All right. <laughs> Even better than the crepe I love. Oh, wow. Yeah. The, the, the crepe you love always. That one, the hazelnut crepe. Yeah. Wow. Well, I'm yeah. excited. I just jumped in. Yeah. <laughs> and Whoa. I already know you love it. Whoa. It's really good. It's really, that really good. That beer cheese. The beer cheese is much. so good. It's like a good amount. Mm -hmm. yeah. And the beef is like really soft braised beef. It's very good. Yeah. You guys won't like it. I'll keep it. <laughs> I think y'all built it oh up too much. It's I good, should have, right? I should not have gone last. <laughs> Expectations yeah, are very are. high. Through the roof. Yeah, that's good. It's really good. <laughs> <laughs> Expectations met. Yeah. <laughs> and what is this? This is uh, the Dusseldorf Cafe, which is Jägermeister cold brew. Cold brew coffee, vanilla vodka, cocoa bitters. It's kind of like a Jägermeister coffee, iced coffee drink. Wow. And I'm excited for the iced coffee part, but I don't like Jäger, so <laughs> we're gonna see how it goes. No, I really like it. <laughs> it's really good. The Jäger's not too, like, it's not like Jägermeister. It's yeah. not strong. Yeah. It's or maybe you haven't gotten there yet. <laughs> no, it's like all pre-made mixed yeah. together. Oh, so cool. So it's not gonna be like, all the Jaegers at the bottom and coffees at the top. Oh, that's good. That's really good. That's better than regular Jaeger. Yeah, right. <laughs> and better than regular coffee. Well, not to me, but you know. <laughs> than black coffee. <laughs> it's very good. Right? And she hates coffee. I don't drink coffee. That's amazing. Okay, this is another Jaeger-based cocktail. So <laughs> we'll see about this one. The Bavarian Buck, Jägermeister, cherry liqueur, pineapple juice, lime juice, ginger beer. Do you That's like a lot of things, beer? though. Yeah. yeah. Let's see if it's kind of like muffled in there. Oh, yeah. Okay. It's I taste good? more ginger okay. than anything else, hmm. which I like. So what do you think of this cocktail? Um, it's not for me. Hmm. I like feel like it I won't like it be fine. for me either. I mean, you know, but, but I like it. Yeah. Oh my God, no, that's not for me. Okay, so it's for me. <laughs> Cheers. Blueberry cake ice cream. I like the little crumbles on it. I know. It's, it's good. Yep. I feel like the blueberry isn't too strong. Hmm. It looks like it would be because it's like because it's blue. Yeah. Well, yeah, blue, <laughs> but there's chunks of blueberry in there too, so that's nice. Yeah. Okay, Germany rating. Giving it a five. Five. Absolutely five. Yeah. Five. Definitely a five. Yep. Fives all around. You too? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and now Italy. Italy. <laughs> okay. What do we got? So this is the uh, honey gorgonzola. Okay. Which has not gorgonzola, but blue cheese. <laughs> and honey, grapes, and red onion. I feel like I'm gonna be the only one that likes this one. I have a feeling too. I like grapes. <laughs> that was just one of the items, yeah. right? Did you eat your 13 grapes on January 1st? We, we did. did. We all did. Yeah. I knew I was there. <laughs> one of the things really you can do good. for good luck of the year is eating grapes. The combo of honey and blue cheese. Mm. Nice. Perfect. Mm. It's good, right? Mm -hmm. See, try okay. new things. Yeah. <laughs> it's good. It's just blue cheese. Yeah. It's yeah, a yeah, very strong flavor. We'll see. I'm not a big blue cheese fan, so we'll it's see how not, I feel. It, well, yes. Blue cheese is a strong flavor. It's not the strongest blue cheese. I think the honey helps it, too. So you might like it. It's kind cool. of sweet. You like it? I do. You do. See? Yeah. This is the Mediterranean dessert. Oh. So it's got... <laughs> vanilla, 
mascarpone cheese, marshmallow, hazelnut, caramel, and biscotti crumble. Oh. It's, I know it's sticky because I got some on my hands. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is really good. Oh, nice. And that was when we almost considered not getting, but we're like, no, we're getting all the new stuff. I never considered not getting it. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then here's the Italian margarita. Oh, that's good. Is it? Yeah. Thanks. And then what about this? Yeah, I'll try the dessert. Yeah. This is really good. I know. I the really, combination really of like this it. And the crepes is like all the dessert you can need for the whole so weekend. Far. <laughs> okay. okay. Rating Italy. I am going to personally rate Italy. Oof. Four. 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 Okay. So this is it. I'm doing it four also, but a lesser four than Mexico. Right. Mexico was a 4.5, no, a 4.1 at Mexico, and a okay. solid 4. Yeah. Sure. There we go. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to go with a 3. Yeah. Not because the food wasn't good, it was, but yeah. I feel like the choices they had here are not enough for Italy. Yeah, there's you a lot know? of Italian dishes. So many opportunities. And I'm, yes. and I'm right there with her, and with a 3. Me. I was yeah. looking forward to Italy because I love Italian food, but... Yeah. So that's why. It could have been it could have been something else. That's fair. Well we're gonna go to Greece, but we're gonna also stay here. We're gonna keep the table. Yeah. And I'm sending soldiers into Greece to get the food of Greece. <laughs> soldiers into Greece. Yeah. <laughs> we're the soldiers, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Well, Greece, while close, was a very long line. And that's our so fault a little bit. Sitting here waiting for you guys. <laughs> <laughs> but Shamu let out, so that's the reason why. Oh, it was a little, so fair warning to all people coming, don't go to Greece when Shamu lets out. But what do we get here? We got chicken shawarma. Yes, new with a garlic sauce. It's kind of a, a deconstructed shawarma a little bit. The pita's underneath, so you're not gonna necessarily eat it like a sandwich. Mm. I like this, actually. I like that there seems to be a lot. There is. Yeah. The sauce is good. It's good. Cool. Okay, what do we think of that? I thought it was very good. Yeah? Mm -hmm. yep. well, it tasted pretty good, but the whole deconstructed, it's, uh, it's Hard. difficult to eat. Yeah. And, and then, then what else? New, these are the Greek donuts. Um, Lucamades? Lucamades. Hmm. I think they're just fine. They're just fine. I had higher hopes, but... Yeah. Yeah. Same? Just fine? Fine. Just fine. And then there's a new cocktail, too, Sunrise Over Athens, which is Uzo 12, and I'm pretty sure it's been in a drink before in Greece, and we did not like it. But we had to get it anyway. <laughs> and lime juice, orange juice, and pineapple. I like those last things. Oh, nope. <laughs> just like last year. <laughs> it's the Uzo 12. It tastes like black licorice. Oh, I see. Okay. We're ranking Greece. Greece. I'm going to give it a three and a half. Three and a half. Okay. Three. 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 Three for me as well. Mm. Yeah. I only went three and a half because I really enjoyed the chicken shawarma. I did like it. I liked it a lot. Yeah. But yeah. the drink is a no for me and the donuts are skippable in my opinion. <laughs> I'm very sorry. I don't, I don't mean I to. I thought you were trying to make a, th a case for a three and a half. With your argument right there, oh, it the doesn't... Oh, the is just what bumped it. Oh, I see. Maybe okay. Maybe three because the other things are bringing it down. <laughs> You're so easily swayed. I know. <laughs> well, and the other thing, too, for the deconstructed part, we were talking about this, and maybe it would be better if it was just smaller pieces of a pita. Maybe, like, two. Pitas. Right. So that way you could actually make your own little I don't know if thing. it was even really supposed to be deconstructed or if it was just, like... That was just the way it was so presented to us. So on top yeah. that you couldn't we in line so long. hold it. <laughs> it was just yeah, like, just take some! Yeah. <laughs> Go away. Yeah. But what is next? Is it... Next is Jamaica. It's Jamaica, right? Mm -hmm. Oh, I love Jamaica. Oh, they have a very, very good macaroni and cheese. Yes, they do. It's exactly what I was going to say. Let's do it. I feel like we do this every year, but... It's jump true. in the thing! Okay. <laughs> squish, 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 squish. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> but yeah, what a great area over here. Of course, you have Tidal Surge, all new right there. Italy and Greece, really close together. But it's Jamaica time. SeaWorld's always working on something. Yes. 
start building memories for the future. <laughs> but who knows? I'm sure someone knows. If you know, comment. <laughs> What do we got here? A lot of different stuff. Yeah, five so, things. Yeah, so the mac and cheese typically has jerk pork, like pulled okay. pork. They still have that, but this is the shredded chicken version. Hey, so I'll take new. it. We love the mac and cheese, so. Of course. <laughs> and then this is gonna be the spicy beef street patty. Okay. Then drinks wise, we have a cocoa hito, which is basically coconut rum, dark rum, lime juice, and mint. Okay. A sangria. Ooh. Mm -hmm. That does And a good. Caribbean breeze, which is rum, obviously, red wine, ginger beer, lime juice, and a lime wedge. Well, let's do the drinks and then we'll rank them. Okay, All right. rank them. I'm going one, Coco Hito. Two, Sangria. Yeah, as it turns out, that's a Sangria. Yes. Yeah. Three, the other one <laughs> that has ginger <laughs> beer in it. So I just don't really And cranberry, like you said, right? Yeah, okay. Number one. One. Uh, probably two. Two. So three. the same. 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 One. Actually, no. I'm one, two, three. Oh, okay. You gotta yeah. be different. Contrarian. Just a little <laughs> bit, but not like totally different. <laughs> but what about the food? You're like nodding to the music. <laughs> okay. Okay. So as, as you processed it, I'm not sure how to feel about it, to okay. be honest. <laughs> it's beef in the middle, but it's like, it has the texture consistency I like this hand. of like a pudding. Uh, interesting. But it tastes like beef. It's beef, it's just like smooshed. Let's see what y'all think of it. It's just like, for me, it's like what Brittany said. It tastes good, yeah. it it's tastes just... Good. It tastes good. It caught me off the guard a little bit. I yeah. know street patties are like, thing. I don't think I've ever had a street patty, so, I mean... Yeah, could be what yeah. it is. Yeah. Uh, it was all right. I mean, all right. I yeah. He's our honest person right here. <laughs> <laughs> if something is not great, he's going to tell you. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't terrible. And so far, nothing's been terrible, no. right? Yeah. No. So that's really good. All right, let's go with the chicken mac and cheese. Hmm. This is very good. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It is very good. <laughs> I haven't I had it yet, but I'm like an advocate. They added extra cheese on top. I noticed cheese, that. Yeah. But it's cold, like it's in the refrigerator. So it makes the whole thing a little cold. If that makes sense. Like you're biting it and you taste the it cold does make cheese. Sense. You know what I mean? Yeah. But the taste is like, it's there. It's really good. I gotcha. Okay, give us the news. Okay. I'm sorry to if I offend anyone with this. But I'm going with a two. <laughs> oh, man. And here's oh, why. Oh, man, I'm offended. <laughs> <laughs> so I didn't really care for any of the three drinks, to be that's honest. Tough. I miss the old cocktails they used to have here. Oh yeah, the that's right. Me crazy Jamaican and... me crazy. Yeah, that was fun. I wasn't a big fan of the street patty. I I don't have anything to compare it to. I don't know if this is how street patties usually taste. So yeah, it might it's just, just not be, for you. If, yeah, it might just be not for me. Right. And the jerk chicken mac and cheese is good, but they've always had the jerk pork mac and cheese. And right. To me, it's not a big enough change, change to bump it that high up. Okay, so a two. I'm gonna go with a three. A three. Everything was just okay. Yeah. Okay. It's good, not bad. Not bad. Uh, two and a half. No, three. I like three because the mac and cheese was good. Yeah, mac Everything and cheese was good. Everything uh, else was barely above France. Yeah. Mm. Well, I liked this drink more than you guys, and I'm a lover of mac and cheese. I'm gonna go with a three and a half. Three and a half. Okay. What is the next country though? We don't know. Is Korea. it Japan or Korea? Korea. I, think, I think you're right. I think it's it Korea. 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 All right. So we got chicken bulgogi bowl. Okay. And two cocktails. The double dragon punch, which has dragon berry in it. That's why it's so pretty. Looking. Oh, it's very pretty. And then we also got the Roku Mimi Momiji. I'm sorry. I butchered that, I'm sure. <laughs> but it's got soju, elderflower, liqueur, lime, and mint, which sounds that good. That sounds really good. And what's the verdict? It's not sweet at all, but okay. it's good. It's cool. refreshing. Good. And that's exactly the kind of thing we're halfway through. We're a little over halfway through. So that sounds good. Same with this. Nice. Well, let me try. Wow. Did you try this one? I did, and it's good. Yeah, refreshing is yes. accurate. Yeah. Yeah. After the last stop, that is good drinks. Yeah. Yes. 
Okay, chicken bowl, googie bowl. Everyone loves a good bowl, right? With all this different stuff in it. Good? good. Yeah? I like the sauce that's on it. Nice, and it's rice underneath, right? It is, yeah. Cool. So Korea's rating for me, I'm gonna give it a 4.5. Strong. It so is, I know. Second only to Germany then. Yeah, yeah. Cool. I'm gonna give it a four. It was very good. Four is a good score. Yep, yeah, uh, 4.2. 4.2. It's my second favorite so far. Nice. Yeah, and a lot of it for me is owed to this drink right here. Drink Both good. drinks were great. The yep. bowl was good. The bowl yeah. Was great. Kimchi yeah. had just enough spice to make it fun. Yeah, yeah, I agree with that. And then Japan is next. Yes. Okay. And while we head over there, a montage of Catapult Falls footage. <laughs> World's first launched log flume right here in San Antonio. Very exciting. And of course, we'll be here to cover it. Back to the food, Japan. Okay, this is the sake spritz. It's new. Okay. It's sake, vodka, lime juice, grapefruit juice. Oh, I don't think I'll fruit. like this. We're getting old. <laughs> Actually. Oh, there it is. Grapefruit juice for the win. Oh, wait, no. Not yet. She's not there yet. I'm there because I'm it's old. It's not as Way bad as I thought. <laughs> and what about this one that looks like Sprite? I don't think it's going to taste like Sprite. It's Japanese <laughs> whiskey, yuzu liqueur, and club soda. That sounds just like Sprite. I have no idea what you're talking about. No. Not the booth for Brittany. All right. What did you guys think? So I like this one. Yeah. It's very, very good. Uh, this one is no. It's horrible. It's horrible. <laughs> Pure liquor. Mm -hmm. It can't be that. Okay, let me try this one. That one's not terrible. It, it does taste like grapefruit, but... <laughs> oh my god. That one's bad, right? <laughs> we can't hang. Well, <laughs> thoughts? The best one they had. Yeah. <laughs> also <laughs> new <laughs> for this year. Okay. Ranking time? Yes, Japan. I'm gonna have to give Japan a two. A two, yeah. I, I was even considering going lower than a two, and here's why. <laughs> Welcome to my TED talk. Yeah. Um, <laughs> well, just simply, you have to remember this is only on the new stuff. Yeah. The Japan booth is great. It's got good ribs. The chicken gyoza. Yeah, we like the good. ribs. I love yep. the tuna. Yeah. But we're going it's off of booth. what's new, which is we only had the two new cocktails, and yeah. I did not care for them. So actually, I'm gonna go 1.5. Oh man. I'm sorry. Talk to yourself. She's. You're so influential, even to yourself. I know. <laughs> and I'm yourself? Gonna go, I'm going to go with a two. Two. Simply because the drinks were not great, and that is what's new. Like yeah. You said. Yeah. And then, oh boy. Oh, I actually found a place worse than France. 1.5. <laughs> 1.5. <laughs> I'm a two for yeah? this. Yeah. But it's, you know, it's fine. The booth itself is usually very good, but we're judging off of new stuff. And actually, also I think new, there is a, some kind of show. That we're gonna, yeah. So we'll we'll walk past that on our Check way to out. Hawaii. Hawaii. it was like it was just very artistic yeah it was peaceful right? and it was nice. the whole time but i was like oh that's that's nice and then all of a sudden this water comes out yeah so that was, that really was cool. neat it was it was neat and it actually i gathered the largest crowd today. yeah yeah i know there was a good amount of people yeah, there. so maybe they maybe they can get a better spot somewhere so that way it's their you know yeah their own spot but now we're in hawaii yes hawaii let's go order Hawaii. <laughs> Drinks. Both new Drinks. cocktails. This is called Aloha Beaches. Oh. <laughs> this is a Mai Tai. Nice. And then we got the Mac salad with Spam. 
And we got the Fula dog, but they're out of bread. So what they did was they just put the dog on top of our Mac salad. <laughs> Whatever. Go with the flow. Ride the surfboard. And it's fine. And then we got a spicy tuna poke bowl. Let's dig in. All right, Hawaii. Hawaii ratings. Rating. Yes. I'm gonna go with a 3.5. 3.5. I had higher Respectable. hopes. Respectable. Yeah. Um, I, it's not all their fault. They were out of some stuff. We made do, but um, yeah, I think 3.5. 3.5. Okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go with a solid three. Solid three. Okay. I'm gonna go with a two. Oh, a two. I'm this sorry. is not her type of food, I will say, right? Like, you're, you don't really like, she doesn't like poke okay. or I see. sweet eater. But even the macaroni. Too uh, sweet. I, yeah, Too I sweet for you. Like okay. It. Well, this isn't our last booth. We have one more left. And, you know, I think we built Hawaii up a little bit too much because of last, prior years in general. Yeah. 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 That's fair. That's fair. I mean, this booth I always think of because they have that, that pineapple. Which they don't have anymore. Oh no! I didn't. It's not on the menu. Uh, Let us know if they have it. It's like a secret menu or something. It's secret not on the menu. menu. See, you we'll didn't say give it's your Oh, I'm a three, yeah. Three. Because because I thought it was gonna be a little bit better. Yeah. Yeah, but Germany okay. was just so strong in the beginning. I know. Yeah, and next is Brazil. Brazil. Okay. All Last right. booth. This is the Rio de Janeiro punch. Oh. We're all gonna try them and we're gonna rank them, but what is that? Whoa. Um, it's a tequila, pineapple rum, melon liqueur, triple sec, lime juice, pineapple. Okay. It's what are, good, but yeah. it's a little more sour than I thought it was gonna be. Oh, okay. um, but I don't dislike it. I just okay. wasn't expecting it. What are these other two? This is the Tropical Toucan. Tropical Toucan, I like that name. But what is it? Good, that's what it is. Oh, Light rum, dark rum, passion fruit, triple sec, lime juice, grenadine. Nice, that grenadine, that little kick at the end there, really always good. good. And the last one? The last one is going to be the tropical monkey. I like that, that name is too. Whiskey, coconut, pineapple, lime, and orange. Fun. All right, we'll try them all. And we'll rank them all. Okay, rank them. All right, I'm gonna go one, one, two, two, three. Okay. I'm gonna go one, one two, two, three. Oh, wow. Okay. One, two, three. Wow. One, two, three. We all had very different. We're experience. all different. This is a really good booth for drinks. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Yes. This is our favorite booth for drinks, probably. Three of them, three oh, good yeah. drinks, but Korea yeah. did have those three two. New drinks for me, this is the best drink. Yeah, food. those are definitely the top two booths, though, is this one and Korea yeah, for drinks. Wise, the Korea drinks. Yeah. Killed it. Yeah. These yeah. are all good drinks, but they don't touch the two Korean drinks. There you go. High price, high price. I like this better. <laughs> I do too. Yeah. yeah. No way. All right, ranking Brazil as a booth. Yeah. What's new? Only drinks new here. But they were all good. They were. So I'm going to give it a four. That's awesome. Four. I feel the same. A four. Four. Uh, 3.9. 3.9. Four. It's already taken. <laughs> four? Four's around. Almost. 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 <laughs> yeah. No, this was a good booth. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. So what are we thinking overall best booths of the festival? Best booth, we're all in agreement, Germany. Germany, yes. Germany. And this, of course... Remind you, we're ranking best new stuff at yes. the booths. Yes. So that combination of the braised beef with the beer cheese oh, spatzel yeah. just so good. That was Bumped good. Germany up. Plus their new drinks were good, even they were. though um, oh, I not a the big fan cream of and the, the cherries. Yeah, the cherries. yeah exactly. that was really cool. Yeah. Um, so definitely that's number one. And yeah. then we both agree that the next two, whatever order it may be in, because we disagree on that part, are Mexico, Mexico and, and Korea. Korea, so, yes. Yeah. Those two. Yeah. So, and, definitely uh, top three. Those three were just like separated from all the other ones for us. Like mm -hmm. all, all four of us thought that those three were, were our top three. Yeah, yeah, for sure. All right. There you have it. Another successful day. It was. Yeah. I mean, we got to every booth, of course. We got to basically every new food item. Almost. Except for maybe like some well, ice we cream. Missed, we missed several ice creams. Yeah. Yeah. As always, this event delivers for us. I really love it. Yeah. 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 Um, I mean, it's great. 
Yeah, it really is. And uh, it could last for a couple months now. It goes until May 21st. So you definitely have a chance to come check it out. We're here yeah. opening weekend, plenty of time left. Thank you guys so much for watching and coming along with us to Seven Seas Food Festival. Make sure you guys like this video and subscribe to Ride or Dine, and we'll see you guys next time.